The LHC makes fireballs reported as over 100,000 times hotter than the sun's core. And somehow, in that heat, we still see deuterons. That's a proton and a neutron, barely holding hands. Even weirder, we see anti-deuterons too, the antimatter version. So no, these fragile nuclei are not surviving the blast. The trick is timing. Most of them are made later, after the chaos cools down. Here's the simple mechanism. The collision creates short-lived, excited particles called resonances. Those resonances decay and release protons and neutrons. And once things calm down, those free protons and neutrons can pair up and fuse into deuterons. In fact, about 90% form this way after the hottest moment. One resonance family does most of the work, the delta resonance, reported at roughly 77% of the contribution. And the same late-stage rebuild happens for antimatter. Antiprotons plus antineutrons become antideuterons. Why it matters? This helps physicists model how light nuclei form, not just in colliders, but in high-energy particle showers in space. And it can sharpen how we interpret rare antideuterons in cosmic data, which is why dark matter searches pay attention carefully. If you love mind-bending science, subscribe to SciBite Insights for more.